Today I'm going to show you some tricks associated with our control token, as well as a few system tags that can be used as an alternative to our token. The project displayed will allow us to use several methods to protect the HMI from unwanted remote access. The first method utilizes Wintex control token on our blue button. There are cases in which assigning a control token to each individual button may prove to be excessive or time consuming. An easy alternative to this is to create an invisible combo button that utilizes a control token with the following configuration and laid over the buttons that you're trying to protect. This configuration utilizes our local control token and prevents access to any device that does not have this token from accessing the buttons underneath it by enabling it when the token is unacquired. Since the combo button has no actions configured, the CMT viewer will receive no response when they try to control a device. Additionally, you can overlay navigation buttons on top of the invisible combo button so that someone using the CMT viewer can still navigate through and monitor the whole project but will have no control. The alternative to our control token can be found within our system tags. A full tag library can be found within the project tab under address. We have two system tags that can be used as an alternative to our token. The first system tag is LB9197. This tag allows remote HMIs, or CMT viewer in this case, to monitor the device but have no control over it when our toggle is switched on. This is an excellent easy alternative to eliminating remote control over the HMI. The second option utilizes system tag LB9044. This tag is more restrictive in the sense that enabling this tag disables remote control and visibility, as well as easy watch and Ethernet pass-through. It's important to note that in this case, someone using VNC Viewer will still have control over the device, but this can be disabled within the remote tab of our system parameters or by using system tag LB12088, which will enable VNC monitor mode, effectively disabling VNC control. Now let's look at these limitations using VNC and CMT viewer. Because VNC is similar to being directly in front of the HMI, I can demonstrate that the operator will still have control over our token protected object, as well as any other objects on screen. Enabling LB9197, You'll notice CMT Viewer no longer has direct control over any objects, whereas the operator still has control over the interface. LB9044 appears to accomplish the same task, but upon switching windows, you will notice we no longer have visibility over certain objects. When we enable LB12088, we are actually disabling VNC control entirely. So if I change windows directly on the HMI, the VNC user will see this, but will have no control. Our invisible token overlay is always there, so there is no need to enable it. It will automatically enable for the CMT viewer disabling their control. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website for free demo projects, user manuals, and more.